Hey. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. How in the world do you handle a hundred people in the morning? Is oh. this true? Is this like is this true or folklore? <laughs> no, it's true. We have we have like anywhere between like 120, 140 right now. It's such a strong community, and there's so little ego and so much love. You know that it's uh, it's really an honor to get to be a part of it. Did you ever in your wildest dreams believe that so many, you know, would... It's such a hard I practice. Just, I was like, how much, how many people have to come for me to, like, have dinner every Right? <laughs> to pay my rent. To tell you, do you know it was the floating stuff that totally got me hooked on? Yeah. I mean, that's, that's really what brought me in. I was, like, almost... I wasn't almost obsessed. I was obsessed. <laughs> I was totally obsessed. I don't know. I did get lots of really good practical points, though, from your video, and that's the truth. Um, your jump back and jump through video really is, like, by far the best I've ever viewed. You gave so many places for people to learn, to be, and, and made it okay. You know, you were like, hey, this is good. Like, it's a progression. You know, it's, it's fun to do this stuff, but it's, it's not even necessarily part of the practice. Like, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't make a difference if you end up doing it or not. It's not more correct. I have never practiced in Mysore. I will be 50 years old when I make my first trip. I'm scared. That's good. I was scared. Too. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm, always, I'm still scared. Are you I'm, still scared? Oh, nervous to see my teacher. I'm all, yeah. Yeah. Always, yeah. Oh I'm, my gosh. I think what's good about it too, right? It's nice. It gives it some energy. What are you scared of now? How many things like create that kind of excitement and fear? A lot. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking the wrong person. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't you always felt that way about whatever you did? Like, we're, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, yeah. say I wanted to learn how to play the trumpet or something. I'd be like, oh, but I'm already. And I, I can remember feeling like this when I was 20. I'm already 20. It's too late. I'll never. <laughs> it's I'll over. Master the trumpet. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> life. It you know? does. And I meet people that are like 40 and they say, yeah, you know, I decided to be a doctor a few years ago. Oh. Right? And then you're, you're like, wow, that's true. And uh, so this is nothing. Going to Mysore, I mean, at 50, 50 is nothing now. 50 is the new, what, 30, 20? You know, people call it a cult. You do know that, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. you did a Toronto Mind Body, did a documentary, <laughs> a little, like a little. And um, I have to say, when I watched you and thinking about you getting up at 3.30, doing your practice in your kitchen, um, and then waking your whole family up to go to this. <laughs> I know, it's almost like child abuse. <laughs> we feel a little bad about that when we watch it. Yeah, yeah, it's very, it, it does lead to a really structured life, but I imagine that's that's the point. A show is not fun. No, no, that's true. Well, yeah, you're just constantly at your edge, and you're constantly being humbled. Mm -hmm. constantly asking yourself to change it's the work that's changing us all the time it's not it's not the end you know it's not us reaching the goal of it it's just us reaching you know I, I I know I'm slow but I really realized you know people will often say Ashtanga yoga Patanjali Ashtanga yoga the practice um, but Guruji meant Ashtanga Patanjali, yes. I mean, yeah, yeah. it's all eight limbs in there. I think I think I missed that. <laughs> when you read the Yoga Sutras, there's nothing in it that doesn't, for me, that it doesn't say, "This is our practice. This is this is what we're doing." Um, there's there's no distinction for me um, between meditation and and asana. I you know I understand they're they're different limbs, but they're they uh, they occupy the same space. In my practice, and, and yeah, the, the yamas, the niyamas. I, I think uh, we have our formal practice on the mat, the, the asana practice. But I don't see how we can maintain that practice really with any integrity uh, without all the other limbs, you know, coming into play. The thing we do on the mat is to remind us, is to help us focus. But certainly, the practice doesn't end there. So I want you to know that before I Skyped with you, I Skyped with Jen.
Yeah. And I asked her if she had any dirt on you. <laughs> so you probably thought I was such a weirdo. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty quiet. I mean, uh, I just go in my room and I sit there and then it's time for practice. I go out and practice and I go back to my room. <laughs> but I, I remember I was probably consuming a lot of chocolate at that point. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if she ever caught me because I would do it in my room. I never went in his room. He drank a lot of coffee. I, I do seem to remember him drinking a lot of coffee. Oh, yeah, a lot of coffee, yeah. A lot of coffee. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's actually, I mean, that's, that's a good thing, right? 